Hello LEGO fans, it's me the Mighty Stacker and today I'm going to review a set I haven't reviewed in so many years from a collection that was a long long time ago. It is LEGO Monster Fighters. This was actually a personal favorite collection of mine. Unfortunately I couldn't find many of the sets when they were available. Glad I got my hands on this one. This is the Crazy Scientist and His Monster. It's a really big set. You can see the box takes up pretty much the whole back of my studio there. But it's really cool. It's got 430 pieces, four minifigures, including the Crazy Scientist and his monster, as well as a professor and a swordsman with a robot leg. I don't really remember their names because it was really long time again ago but let's review it anyway this one is really big <clears throat> near as i can tell this is these two guys attacking the crazy scientist and his monster at their lab to get a green stone up there if you collect all the stones you can i think conquer the world or something <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> That's the front of the box. This is the back. Where you can see all the cool stuff. There are three glow-in-the-dark pieces there. That's pretty cool. As you can see on the comic up here, you have... I think it was his name is Lord Vampire wanting one last piece... And the monster giving him the piece, and he uses all of them to block out the sun and create an eternal night. That's pretty cool. That kind of fills in some blanks for me. <clears throat> anyway, it's pretty cool. On the side here, you can see a side plot here. Crazy scientist captures the professor, but the swordsman with the robot leg, rescues him. That's pretty cool. And you can see that it also includes a moving bed and that cool laser zapping gun. That's really cool. With a light brick. Some flick fire missiles and other features of the set. All right, so enough with the box. Let's get to the set itself. Starting with the minifigures. Here we go. Oh. The Professor is first with his piff helmet and custom rifle there. That's pretty cool looking. Let me bring him in closer for another look. He's got lots and lots of weapons there and what appears to be a folded map. That's really cool. And a bandolier for more ammo. His gun is really cool looking. Looks like he made it himself. Next up is this guy. A swordsman with a robot leg. I think his name is um, a cyborg or something. Again, it's been a long time, so. <clears throat> Looks pretty cool with his Fencing sword, or foil, as it's called. And, for the set's namesake, Mr. Crazy Scientist. That's pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of my character that I made up, Doc Ray. You can see he's got a pair of grabbing tongs and a test tube and a beaker of green fluid. Pretty cool with the hair. Oh, some more test tubes and pinchers there. It's got an angry face there. He looks angry that the monster fighters are coming to attack him. <clears throat> and the final minifigure, the monster. That's pretty cool. Got a Frankenstein's monster vibe. 
Pretty sure that's what they were going for. All right, moving on to the set itself. Starting off with the really cool looking Monster Viters vehicle. It's got a section that can pull out for the cyborg guy to fight with. It's really cool looking, the flick fire missile. See the front grill. Don't really see those much on Lego sets anymore. Up top on the roof, there's a satellite dish. And a couple more flick fire missiles. That's pretty cool. Some nice front fenders. And of course, rockets with fire. That's pretty cool. And there's the hook where you can attach the chain and free the professor. That's pretty cool. I like this car. Alrighty. <clears throat> now for the main part of the set. To use two hands on this one. <clears throat> it's pretty cool. It's got a flexing so it can fold up like that. Turn the camera down so you can see it. There we go. <clears throat> All right, first part of the set. Of course, the reanimation. Whoops. You turn the stone. Let me turn off my studio lights here so you can see it. Doesn't appear to be working. Oh well. Lights back on. Pretty cool. You can see the bed moving back and forth onto the laser gun on the front. Whoops. Oh well. You can see the main workstation with the skull under glass and the microscope. What appears to be a red bottle with a gem on it. A big wrench and of course a bone. On the other side is the big old spider web. That's pretty cool. I like the web elements. They're really cool. And of course the prison cell. Now this rat, this skull, and this spider can all glow in the dark. They're pretty cool. And of course the back wall. So mild reconstruction. There we go. And of course the breakaway wall. That's pretty cool. I really, really love this set. Very nice looking. On the top you have the catapult for defense. And of course on the top of this we see the primal stone that Lord Vampire needs to finish his plans. Looks pretty cool. I hope to find more Monster Fighter sets and re review them for you guys. All right, that's the review of this set. I'm definitely going to say, if you can find it, go out and get it. Because it's a really, really cool set. I love it. I love the whole Monster Fighters theme sets. Kind of disappointed I couldn't find much of them when they were out, but that's what eBay is for. <laughs> All right. So I'm saying go out and get it if you can find it. Or if you ha already have it, that's awesome. And that's the, re the review of this set. See you later, Lego fans. Bye.